What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got a brand new surprise update. We have some patch notes, weapon balance changes, new content, and so much more. So that's what we're going to talk about and discuss in today's video. If you find the video helpful or informative at any point, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. Just a reminder, I did post a video yesterday going over the Season 6 Reloaded update that's scheduled to be coming in after the Haunting event. If you want to know the details on that because that is the last and final update we're going to get, make sure you check it out. The link will be down in the description. But Anyways, let's go ahead, let's jump into it. So these first set of weapon balance changes are going to be for Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, and then after that, we'll go into Warzone. So the submachine guns, the mini bock, reduce close damage range, and they also reduce the close damage range amount which is going to be a nerf. The Vazdev 9K also got a nerf, reduced the close damage range. Lockman Shroud also got a nerf, reduced the mid and far damage range. The ISO 9 also got a nerf with the reduced far damage range. The PDSW, the Fennec, and the Bass P all saw a slight buff with the increased mid damage range. The next one that we have is the AR. So the TR-76 guys got a nerf with the reduced close damage range, close damage range amount, and then they reduced the arm, leg, and torso location damage, and they did increase the long range damage. So this was overall just a nerf. The cast off 762 got a small buff, increased the close damage range. The 74U got reduced close damage range, increased the long range damage, and they reduced the leg location damage. The TAC 56 reduced close damage range. The FR Advancer increased close range and the mid and long range damage amounts. The M16 increased mid damage range. The Tempest Razorback increased close damage range, increased the mid and long damage amount. The M4 increased close damage range. The Lockman 556 increased close and mid damage range. The Battle Rifles, the Cronin Squad got an increased mid damage range. The SO14 increased damage range. The Lockman 761 and the FTAC Recon also saw a buff in those areas. For the shotguns, the Lockwood 300 Maelstrom Dual Trigger has reduced the damage range. So once again, this saw a nerf. Hopefully now, I guess it's not going to be as overpowered in this one shot. The Bryson 912 gauge and Dragon's Breath ammunition reduced the damage range. The Expedite 12 increased close mid damage range. The KV Broadside, the 12 gauge ammunition increased close damage range. And for the Dragon's Breath, reduced the damage range. For the Marksman Rifles, the EBR-14 reduced damage range along with the Tempest Torrent. The SPR-208 ended up getting increased mid damage range. And for the LMGs, the raw LMG got increased mid to far damage range. And then they did some bug fixes, has fixed the issue, preventing split screen from functioning, fixed an issue with crashing occurring. And then I'll just leave a screenshot of all these different bug fixes. So that way you can take a look at it. But usually if I go through these, they just are way too long. But now going on into the war zone changes that we have. These are going to be the ARs. We have the cast off 762. Close mid damage has been decreased with the head damage multiplier decreased, neck damage multiplier decreased, and upper torso damage decreased. So that got a huge nerf. The Lockman 556 head damage multiplier increased, so small buff. And then for the TR-76 guys, probably the biggest nerf of them all. Close damage decreased, close mid damage, mid damage, head damage multiplier, limb damage multiplier, all that has been decreased. The M13B saw a nerf as well. We got the close damage decrease along with the neck damage and the torso damage, but then the head damage was increased. The M4 close mid damage range has been increased. And then for the attachments, the Lockwood 300's Maelstrom dual trigger got a huge nerf. The close damage was decreased, the close mid damage range, the mid damage, the mid damage range, and the mid far damage range all have been decreased. So I'm not sure if it's going to be a one shot anymore, but after a second nerf, I honestly, I don't think it will, but we have the 12 gauge Dragon's Breath. Also saw a nerf with the close damage range, the close mid damage, and the close mid damage range has been decreased. The 12 gauge Slug close mid damage decreased, and then they did a whole lot of bug fixes. Majority of them seem to be coming in for DMZ as well as the nighttime variant of these maps. So as you can see here, they just did random issues like Swamp Creature wouldn't retreat as intended. It's an issue with the Butcher. Whenever he dies, sometimes he would freeze. They just It was just random issues and errors that may have been occurring throughout the haunting event as well as these maps and dmz that they ended up working on and fixing but this is everything you need to know in regards to the patch notes that we have we also got a brand new store update that is bringing us the brand new ash williams operator fun fact is this operator has 30 minutes of voice lines which is probably the most voice lines we've ever received and the good news is they are not recycled from the movies so they are actually unique lines that were recorded for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone. And it's just, if you are interested in getting that bundle, it's just like a random fun fact that I think that you should know. The bundle is going to cost 2,400 COD points, the typical price you get for these collaborations. It's going to feature the Ash Operator skin. He's going to come along with a brand new animated effect. So as he gets eliminations, he will get bloodier and bloodier. They don't sort of mention that on the actual operator itself. 
They mention it on the weapons as well as on the finishing move. So when you look at the weapons, they also have this animated reactive effect. The first one is for the Lockwood 300 called the Boomstick. As you see here, it's like pretty bloody. I guess this is like the max for the animation that you can get it. And then the next one is going to be the Groovy for the Cast Off 762. And then it'll, all in the description, they say pretty much the same thing. But then when you look over at his finisher called the Boomstick Buggy, it says send evil back to hell with the animated operator and two animated blueprints indicating that Ash is going to be animated as well, which they don't really mention as I told you. But the next thing you have is a weapon charm called the Chainsaw. You also have the Dead Eyes weapon sticker. You have the Evil Dead 2 loading screen. And then you also have an Evil Dead emblem. And this is pretty much everything that you need to know about this brand new bundle. Just a disclaimer, this bundle doesn't have any tracer effects to it or death animation effects when you use the weapons. Three days from now, you can expect that Inarius is going to be added into the rotation as well. And then three days after that, we have the Grim Tidings bundle. And that's going to be added on the 29th pretty much concluding everything that we have for October. The Dune Bundle is set to come at some point, not exactly sure when that is, but probably sometime in early November. And then also we are gonna be receiving an update tomorrow, which is gonna be adding all the brand new content for the Soul Capture event. So all the new items that you're unable to get right now, especially that Ghoulie Camo, you're gonna be able to unlock starting tomorrow around 9 to 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The theory is that you will need a thousand souls in order to get it. So if you have not saved up all those souls yet, make sure you start doing that so that way you unlock it as soon as it comes out also i forgot to remind you but there is a free item that you can claim in the store a gift pack which is pretty much a car skin a vehicle skin called the cell shade and you can collect that right now in the store so i just wanted to let you know about that although we're still a long ways away from modern warfare 3 we have almost three weeks until we get there there is the early access campaign that's actually going to be accessible starting at the end of next week which is just in a week and a half from now, which I'm going to start talking about and covering in other videos, talk about how you can download it early, what to expect from it. There's going to be some playable operators that we didn't expect to be coming with that one. And then so much more information in regards to Modern Warfare 3. I was originally going to make a video talking about MW3 today, and then we got the surprise update. So I had to cover that one for you guys, but probably starting tomorrow, if we don't get any new content involved, other than the, like the soul capture items being available, I'm going to make a video and talk about the campaign and talk about everything that you need to know about MW3 before we get into it because there's apparently operator challenges already being revealed that can get you some free operators there is early campaign information there's also multiplayer information and just so much more that we're going to talk about and go into over these upcoming weeks before the launch of mw3 and then we're also going to talk about what's going to happen with mw2 season 6 reloaded and what's going on with the updates and warzone until we get into the integration of warzone and mw3 but anyways that's pretty much all that i have for you guys in today's video if you found the video helpful or informative Consider hitting that subscribe button so you always stay up to date on the latest Call of Duty news and updates. Let me know if there's anything in particular you guys want me to cover here on the YouTube channel. And then I can make a video about it and talk about it. But anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. It's been your boy Trizzo. And hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.